Have you ever looked at the calendar and thought, wait, it's already July? Or found yourself saying, this week flew by, only to realize it's something you say almost every week now? When we were kids, summers felt eternal. Birthdays took forever to come around, and the school year dragged on like a bad movie. But now, months feel like weeks and weeks feel like days. Why does time seem to pick up speed as we grow older? Is it just in our heads? Or is there actually something going on beneath the surface? Today we're diving into a question that feels less like science and more like philosophy. Why do days seem shorter as we age? It's a mix of psychology, biology, and a little bit of math, wrapped up in the strange way our brains perceive reality. Let's break it down, right here, on History of Simple Things. Think back to when you were a child. Remember how a single afternoon could feel like an entire adventure? You'd play outside, build a fort, invent a game, scrape your knee, heal from the trauma, eat a snack, and still be home before dinner. A single day could feel jam-packed with experiences. The world was new and everything you did was fresh and full of meaning. There was a sense of novelty in nearly everything, from your first ice cream cone to learning how to ride a bike. That richness in experience actually alters your perception of time. When the brain is constantly receiving new, unfamiliar information, it processes those moments more deeply. Your brain stores more mental snapshots, which, when recalled later, make that period seem longer. In childhood, our brains are practically being flooded with these little moments of discovery. The more we absorb, the longer that stretch of time feels. Now, fast forward to adulthood. For most people, life settles into a routine. Wake up, go to work, eat, commute, check emails, scroll, sleep, repeat. And while that's perfectly normal, the brain becomes less stimulated by the repetitive nature of daily life. It's not that time is moving faster, but rather, we're forming fewer distinct memories. The more repetitive life gets, the fewer mental bookmarks your brain creates. Imagine a photo album. The more pictures you have, the thicker it becomes. Childhood is like an album packed with photos from every moment. But in adulthood, it's a lot of blank pages with a few highlights thrown in. Holidays, birthdays, weddings, maybe a random vacation. When we look back at our lives as adults, we don't have as many vivid moments to point to, so the years seem to compress into shorter stretches of memory. Psychologists have been fascinated by time perception for decades. One of the most common theories is known as proportional theory. It goes like this. When you're five years old, a single year is 20% of your life. That's huge. But when you're 50, a year is only 2% of your life. The older you get, the smaller each year seems in proportion to your total life lived. It's like slicing a pie those slices get thinner and thinner with each passing year. And while that might sound like just a quirky mathematical theory, it actually plays into how we feel time. Our internal clocks don't run in perfect sync with the calendar. They're influenced by our personal history, our emotional states, and even our stress levels. The more we age, the more we rely on mental shortcuts to get through the day and those shortcuts often make time seem faster. Our brains are also physically changing with age. Neurotransmitters, especially dopamine, play a major role in how we perceive time. Dopamine levels tend to be higher when we're excited, motivated, or experiencing something new, which is why kids and teens, whose dopamine systems are still buzzing, often perceive time more slowly. But as we age, dopamine activity tends to decline. That lower level of stimulation affects how our brain encodes time. Think about moments of danger or thrill, how they seem to stretch out, like a car crash in slow motion. 
That's your brain going into high alert, taking in more sensory detail. When we're bored or understimulated, the brain skips over that richness. It's not that time is flying. It's just that we're not paying as much attention to it anymore. There's another factor that messes with our sense of time. Distraction. We live in an era where our attention is constantly divided. Notifications, social media, news updates, emails, endless scrolling. While it feels like we're consuming more content, we're actually experiencing less. The day becomes fragmented into micro moments that don't leave lasting impressions. When we're always distracted, we don't pause long enough to create memory anchors. It's like driving on autopilot and suddenly realizing you don't remember half the trip. That feeling applies to entire days now. Without intentional immersive experiences, our memory gets blurry and blurry memory makes time feel like it's slipping away faster than it used to. The good news? While we can't physically slow down time, we can hack our perception of it. One of the best ways is to reintroduce novelty into your routine. Learn a new skill. Travel to a new place. Try something that challenges you. New experiences force the brain to wake up and pay attention again. And that creates more vivid memories, which make time feel fuller and longer. Another method is mindfulness, literally slowing down to notice what's around you. Paying attention to small details, whether it's the texture of your food, the colors in the sky, or even just the sound of your breathing, grounds you in the present. When you're truly present, time doesn't feel like it's rushing by. It becomes something you inhabit, not just something you chase. Keeping a journal or taking photos can also help. When you document your life intentionally, you're teaching your brain to value and remember those moments. Over time, that archive becomes a rich tapestry that counters the blur of routine. So. Why do days seem shorter as we age? It's not a trick of the universe. It's a reflection of how we live, how we remember, and how much attention we pay. Childhood is filled with wonder, discovery, and novelty, making every moment feel thick with time. But as adults, repetition, distraction, and fading novelty compress our perception. The clock hasn't changed, it's us who've changed. But here's the beautiful part. We can reclaim our sense of time. By seeking new experiences, staying curious and slowing down, even just a little. We stretch the day in ways that matter. Because in the end, it's not about how long life is, but how deeply we feel it. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.